horror games. Even though I don't like playing it, it is a genre loved by many players. Today I decided to make a horror game, but we will do it in 30 minutes, so we will have to be very quick to come up with a good game. It will not be easy, but we can do it. Hello everyone, I am Joseph. I am really glad you are here. Before we get started, I have a small favor to ask. Could you hit that subscribe button? It's a big help to me and we'll keep you updated. Done? Perfect now, let's dive in and have some fun. I already have a 3D FPS scene with very simple mechanics. We can only move on stage and the camera moves with us. We will make our own horror game in this scene in 30 minutes. But first we need a plan. Our first priority is to create a game environment. Right now I'm planning to game to take place in a city. Horror games are mostly set in an abandoned city or forest. For this reason I will prepare the environment according to which model is more suitable. Second, we need to add our monster to the game. At the same time, we have to hurry up to get the monster to follow us as we have 30 minutes. Finally, we need to make some effects with post-processing. Now, if you are ready, let's start our timer. Our game will take place in the dark. First, I delete all the lights in the game environment. Our character needs some light to see the point it is looking at. I added a flashlight to our character. I have no idea about the Unity lighting system, so it took a little too long to set it up. We have a spotlight and it looks good at the moment. The circular shape of the light made it more realistic. I put this light inside the camera and wherever we look our light turns in that direction. There is some fine tuning needed about the light, but I don't want to waste our limited time on it. Next, we need to create our game environment. At first, I imported a city into Unity as the game environment, but then I decided to set up a forest environment instead. It will be much more fun for our game to take place in an endless forest. After searching on Sketchfab, I found a suitable forest model for myself and downloaded it. I imported a very simple forest model into Unity and noticed that the ground is very skewed. Colliders were not adjusted because the ground was crooked, which of course affects character movements. Without wasting too much time, I wiped the floor and created a flat floor, then some landscaping and voila. Our game environment was formed. A good horror game scene with trees, stones and woods. There are points that could be improved, but it's a good game even as it is. It looks like a great horror game with the light in our character. I am stopping the timer right now, because I am going to show you what I have done so far. It looks good with our lighting system and game environment. It can be developed further, but our time is quite limited. Now it's time to add the monster in our game. So let's get our timer going. I found a monster model and used Mixamo to animate it. An animation like a zombie will work for now. If I tried to make an animation myself, I would probably take up all my time. I imported the animation and character into Unity and set their materials. I decided to make the monster red and additionally added a red light for the monster and placed it inside the monster in order to make the monster much more terrifying. The monster looks brightly from afar. I want our monster to follow us. It is also possible to do this with coding. But instead, I will do it with new mesh agent plugin. This plugin is very simple to use and we can make the monster follow us with only 4 or 5 lines of code. And as you can see, it is following us right now. The monster movement was a bit strange, but it is enough for now. The aim of the game is to escape from the monster and the monster is constantly following us. As a result of our efforts, we came up with a simple horror game. I wanted to devote the remaining 5 minutes to effects. I added effects such as post-processing, film grain and motion blur, so it become even more like a horror game. Post-processing has some very useful effects. I also added lens distortion, color adjustment effects and we are out of time. Now let's look at our game. 
First of all, the gameplay of the game is quite simple and we are running away from the monster. We made a good game in such a short time. We walk, we jump and the monster follows us in a frightening way. Of course, it doesn't have the graphics like in high budget games, but we still did a good job on limited resources. We made a 3D FPS game in an old video, but it was my first experience making a horror game. If you want, we can improve this game even further. Further. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I just created my channel, I need your support. At the same time, don't forget to share your ideas about the game with me. As I said, we can continue to improve the game. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next videos.